Hello and welcome to this short video on how to be able to set up your gradebook. The first thing we're going to do is go ahead and select the grades icon under the administration. Once you've done this, you'll notice that you'll have you, that you're going to be in the grader report view. You'll notice that you have a grader report view, an overview report, and a user report. The first thing we're going to do on setting up our gradebook is first of all go to the My Preference folder and select it. You'll see a lot of different windows here that are able for you to show your calculations, show your work. Uh, the one thing that we want to do is go all the way down to the bottom and we see students per page. If you have a lot of students in your class, I highly recommend that you key in and keep the students per page no more than eight to nine. This way you'll be able to see their header row and the header assignments and titles as you are working with uh, your students and inputting grades. When you're finished, always click on Save Changes at the bottom. The next thing is actually the settings. Now, when you click on Settings, the most important thing in this area is to be able to go over and change the overall decimal points to zero. By default, it shows two. However, here at TSTC, we work with whole numbers. It'll round up, and you need to go ahead and make the overall decimal points zero. Again, once you've done this, click on Save Changes. You will not have to worry about the export or imports. Um, the next folder I want to talk about is the letters. You'll notice that already this is set up in this fashion. However, for a default course through Moodle, you'll find out that you'll have A plus, A minus, A, B plus, B minus. To edit those scores and get rid of those extra uh, letters, simply click on the edit. From there, you'll probably see that it looks like this right here to where all the grades are ghosted out and where you see override site default, you're simply going to select inside that arrow. Simply start with an A and put the letter grade boundary or the numerical number for an A. A being 100 all the way down to 90. And then simply take the next letter, B, C, D, and F. If there are any other ones that uh, are still being showed, simply select unused and they'll be ghosted out. Once you're finished putting your grade boundaries in, Go ahead and come down to the Save Changes, select it, and you should have your grades and your letters looking like this. <coughs> there are some accreditations that these grades or numbers may be changed uh, due, ag due again to accreditation uh, requirements. Uh, again, the most important thing is that these grade letters and the numbers actually match uh, what is on your course syllabus. The next area we're going to get into is Category and Items. This is where you actually set up your grade book for weighted grades. About 90% of the grade books that we find here at TCC are being used with weighted categories, meaning that you have a weight for theory exams, assignments, and so forth. You'll see that the, the course that you have, and this one is simply a test course, is that the aggregation, meaning the total or the, the manner in which we total our grades simply says weighted mean of grades. This is where it should always stay. And again, this is for the full course. Now, to create our categories, the first thing you want to do is go down to the Add Category and select it. You'll notice it's going to ask you for a category name. In this case, I'm simply going to use Theory Exams. One of the last steps that we need to take is to change the aggregation from weighted mean of grades over to mean of grades. Simply slide down all the way down to the bottom and click on Save Changes. And as you see, we've built one category. Now, we're not finished yet because if you look over here at the weight column, you'll notice that there is no weight percentage. In this case, our theory exams is worth 40% of our grading criteria. Always make sure you go down here and select Save Changes to be able to save your changes. If for any reason that you need to add a grade item, let's say for instance uh, your students are going to be taking theory, theory Test 1, you can simply come down to the button that says Add Grade Item. For the item name, I'm simply going to name it Theory Exam 1. I'll slide down to the bottom because the value and all these numbers pretty much stay the same. Overall decimal points zero. But when you get down to the bottom, you'll notice it says grade category. 
By default, it will always say Course Full Name 101, but if you click the drop-down arrow, this will be the remainder of your category names, and all that you need to do is simply select that one, which here is Theory Exams, and click on Save Changes. You'll notice now that we have Theory Exam 1 falling under the weighted category of Theory Exams being weighted at 40%. Uh, percent. Again, I simply click on Save Changes, and again, it saves my gradebook. If I was to go into my grade, grade book, simply clicking on View, you'll notice up here to the top the course full name. But if you look down here at the bottom where it says Theory Exams, you see Theory Exam 1, Category Total. And here you would have Theory Exam 2 afterwards, Theory Exam 3. They all fall under this category. To go ahead and simply place the scores, I would simply turn, on edit, turn editing on. Go down to my student and simply go ahead and press in the score and then go ahead and click on Save Changes or to update. And my grade is updated. This concludes the setup of the basic gradebook using categories for your TSTC gradebook. If you have any questions, please call me at 364-4826.